He was he was sort of walking around going whack, 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 all the way around. He was trying His to hand is broken in two places down. and will require surgery. Chris David has bruises up and down his body after being struck by federal officers during a protest in downtown Portland this weekend. I had no intention of leaving until I had to. And I wanted to show that I was not doing anything provocative or aggressive. I was just standing there with my arms by my sides. That's all I was doing. The 53-year-old Portland man had never yeah. been to a protest before, but after seeing news accounts claiming federal officers in unmarked vans were arresting protesters without probable cause, David decided he wanted to chat with them about it. So Saturday night, he headed downtown. You know, I put on my Naval Academy sweatshirt, my Navy wrestling hat, and my backpack with all my CB patches on it um, because I wanted, I was hoping that some of them were veterans and that them seeing me as a veteran would allow us to actually talk. David said he stood on the street off federal property when eight to 10 federal officers came out of the courthouse. From what I saw, there were no cohesive tactics to what they were doing. They were just almost like a gang with sticks, whacking people. Um, there was no attempt to de-escalate. Uh, the, their only intent seemed to be to engage and to escalate the aggression on both sides. This weekend saw some of the largest protest crowds in weeks in downtown Portland. Hundreds of demonstrators seemed galvanized by the presence of federal officers who were called in to help protect federal buildings. So far, the federal courthouse in Portland has seen more than $50,000 in damage. Protesters and local leaders argue federal officers have used overly aggressive tactics, including tear gas. I couldn't see anything. My face was burning. My throat was burning so I could barely swallow. Multnomah uh, County I, Commissioner I Sharon Myron stumped. was on the periphery of the protest crowd Saturday night when she was hit with tear gas. There is no level of you know, uh, damage to some property in a park or damage to a building that justifies the uh, trauma and the actual injury caused by the wide dispersal of tear gas. Federal officers aren't just being challenged on the street, but also the courtroom. Oregon's attorney general filed a lawsuit on Friday against federal officers claiming they're using unlawful tactics. Kyle Boshi, KGW News.